Hello and welcome to this video where we're now going to be taking a look at dealing with animated UVs. So um, we're going to go to our texture folder. I'm going to right click. I'm going to choose, uh, let's see, import. And I want to import the two textures over here. So I have water normal and water normal underscore two. So I've got those imported. Let's go to uh, new material. And uh, we're going to create a very, uh, very simple, very basic material here um, for water, that is. So let's uh, drag in our two water materials. There we go. Or oh, two water textures, shall I say. And uh, we're going to start with this one. So if we, let me just uh, create a, a constant three vector here and uh, just set a very simple blue waterish color there we go so let's plug this into base and let's set this to this square okay so if we plug our um normal here into the normal map you can see that we get this uh, very nice uh watery appearance um normal the, the problem is is that this doesn't move it doesn't give you the illusion that this water is moving so the way we can do that is we can do that with uh, panners and rotators so i'm going to drag and pull this out and uh, i'm going to press and hold p to bring in a panner okay and uh it's this way so i'm going to plug the panner into the uvs and you see there's no difference that's because we need to select the panner and change the uh, speed here. So if we set the X to like 0.025, you see it slowly starts to move. Now we can build a whole network of panels. So if I press Control C and then Control V and copy this, and then I set this to zero, and then I set this to like negative 0 0.3456, just, just some random values here. And then we, uh, and let's see, we should add these together and we add this and this, and then we plug this in over here. You can see we're going to get some slight, um, different differentiation here. So if we can increase this, we're going to get a different direction. So let's see. So it's just a very slight change. Um, we could take this and then add this to a panel. So you press and hold P, bring in a panel. But we didn't want a, uh, we wanted a rotator. So press and hold, uh, let's see. So we've got a rotator and uh, let, there we go. So we can add this to a rotator and some slight rotation um, 0 0.042 0 0.112 something like this it's just you just had some random values here and you, know, you could put this in here and you can see that now we have some slight rotation as it is uh, moving along so we could copy this network okay control C control V and uh, paste this over here and uh, here we can just start playing around with some of these values um, just increasing them um, playing around with the rotation something along these lines so now we could add uh, we could add uh, sorry so we can uh, connect this to here so if we plug this one into normal, we can see we get a different uh, appearance here. Okay. <clears throat> now what we ideally want to do is we want to add these two together. So we need to break this. Now, if we simply just go to add and we add this and this, and then plug this in, what you'll see is that even though this uh, sort of works, well, what you'll notice is that the, the strength of the uh, normal maps themselves has uh, decreased. 
So we need to fix that. And the way we do that is when we add these together, we only need to add the uh, red and green channel from one uh, into the other. And uh, we need to exclude the blue. So what we need to do is we need to multiply and we're going to multiply this top one. And we're going to choose a constant three and uh, we choose one by one in the RNG and plug this in. And then we can uh, add these. So if I click the live preview here, you can see that we've only now got the red and green uh, information here. And if we add this in here, then we plug this into the normal. You'll see that we actually get that uh, normal information back. Okay, so now we have this uh, animated uh, waterlight material. Now, obviously, we can go ahead and um, bring in our roughness. And uh, set this to uh, zero. So a very shiny roughness. We could put this zero into metallic. Set this to about one ish. Okay, maybe we'll bring this down point. There we go. So we have something along these lines. We could bring the color out. So let's see, could, can we decrease the metallic? If we set this to, let's see if it's a zero, it's a one. Okay, so point four ish, something like this. Okay, so press save. Let's just see how this looks on a material. So uh, on a surface, sorry. So let's select our plane here. Let's go to my materials and um, we can go to where did we create this now? We've got basic water. So you can see the effects that this uh, has a now obviously this is not like true water otherwise we would be able to see through that so if we wait to we could add some translucency here translucency you know in the opacity put like point Let's see what this looks like. Let's see if we get the effects. Or if we need to play around with it a little bit more. Even if we have to play around with it a little more, that's not the uh, real purpose of the uh, video here. So, yeah, you need, we need to play around with this a little bit more. So, I'm just going to close this off and uh, change this back to opaque. And, uh, yeah, no, I'm just going to leave this video how it is right now. Okay. So, um, thank you for watching. And um, I'll see you at the in the next video and actually what we could do before we leave is remember when we had that uh, for now so we could add a for now we could put this in the emissive and if we wait to we could put this through the normal there we go and we could set the exponent pretty high so let's see around the 8 10-ish, let's see. Yeah, we could multiply this. Let's see, by a constant three. Give this a uh, close to that bluish color. Add this, put this over here. And we get, I guess, more of a realistic water effect. So, 
that really is it um thank you for watching uh please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video